Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we're going to be solving systems of equations using the elimination method or otherwise known as the cancellation method. The first thing we want to do is we want to look at which pair of variables are easier to cancel out. Being that we have a positive and a negative x here, we're going to use the x terms. Also, they have the smaller set of numbers, so it makes the magnification easier. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to take the two equations, 2x plus 3y's equal 8, and negative 3x's plus 5y's equals 7, and we're going to augment them. To augment them, we're just going to multiply by the multiplication factor, which makes these numbers opposite but the same. So here we're going to use the 3 to make the common multiple of 6, and down here we're going to use the 2. Once we multiply these two equations, we can add them up and cancel out the two variables that are common. So here we're going to have 3 times 2x's, right? which gives us 6x's. Then we have 3 times positive 3y's, which give us 9y's. And finally, 3 times positive 8, which gives us positive 24. For the second equation, we're magnifying it by 2. So we're going to multiply 2 times negative 3x's. This gives us negative 6x's. 2 times positive 5y's. This gives us positive 10y's. And finally, 2 times positive 7. Now this is going to give us positive 14. Now that we have the two, the two equations set with the same value but opposite signs, we can add the two equations and cancel out the x term. In this case, we can, we're going to be solving for the y term after the summation of these two equations. So the 6x and negative 6x's cancel out to 0. And we have 9y's plus 10y's, which is 19y's. And this is equivalent to 24 plus 14, which gives us 38. Now we can take this and we just solve by using the, the multiplicative inverse, which is division, to both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by 19. These two 19s reduce to 1, and we're left with y is equivalent to 2. There's our y coordinate for the solution. And now all we have to do is take one of the two original equations and substitute the value of y into it so that we can solve for the x value. And so we're going to take the first equation 1, and we're going to take 2x's plus 3y's equivalent to 8. We're going to substitute the value of 2 for the y. So we have 2x's plus 3 times 2 is equivalent to 8. Now this gives us 2x plus 6 is equivalent to 8, which we're going to move the 6 over. The 6 is cancel out, and we're left with 2x's equivalent to 2. Now the final step here to solve is just to divide both sides by 2. These twos were can not canceled, but reduced to 1. And we're left with a value of 1 for x. And so our x value is 1 and our y value is 2. And so the solution for this problem is going to be in terms of x and y. And we have 1, 2 as a coordinate. And here's our solution for this system. 